Hi guys, this is the Xperia XZ, the latest crown jewel from Sony Mobile. And uh, just prove that this is the Xperia XZ. Let's just quickly go on to about phone. This is the dual SIM version, so the model number F8332, running Android 6.0.1, software build number 0.250. Um, so this is the camera review, I just want to do a camera review. I feel the camera has been really improved over the previous Xperia's. I had used Xperia's uh, starting from the Xperia Z up till the Xperia Z5. I completely avoided the Xperia X line because I didn't feel uh, they were an upgrade, probably more than a downgrade. So this phone could be an upgrade. So let's just quickly see the pictures. Let's start off with the low light pictures because that's what everybody will be interested in. Here, let's start off with these outdoor pictures. So first of all, I think the color accuracy, the colors literally they pop. of JPEGs which Sony used to do throughout this Xperia X line. Let's check out the details. It's an 8 megapixel picture one, over 1.6 shutter speed. Highest value of 3200. Uh, I would say it's pretty good. The colors they are very good. I really like the color here. Look at this picture. Again light just single light reflecting from the street street lamp. shadows not much acceptable level look at the color overall and uh, i have not put in any soft uh, what is it display processing they have the uh, x reality and uh, super vivid mode but i have turned it off so that you can see the accurate colors captured by the camera it's running right now on just a uh, no filter display filter look at the street shot Red is literally popping. The blue is popping. Look at the processing. Excellent stuff here. Look at the details on the ground. Look at all these details. And look at the image processing. That's the vast improvement. The most improvement is in image processing. It's it's really improved. A very, very mature take. Dynamic range. Look at the blue of the sky. I don't see any software um, processing artifacts. Look at the details here. A well balanced picture. Another one to show the a little over blown on the clouds but nothing to worry about. How does it come? And another thing, yes. Look at this picture here. This is my kid by the way. He was running and I used that, uh, what's that focusing technique called? Um, follow focus? I don't know what's it exactly called. I'll, I'll tell you later. But I had put the follow focus on him and he was running. Look at this. Everything is blurred and the image, they have caught him in focus. I know it's not 100% sure he was literally running. And to do this, commendable job Sony. Excellent. This autofocus works another thing is I would like to show you is um, if you press the camera over some really quick half press the camera shutter button and everything becomes very very sharp try to uh, 
see this saw that it literally just pops once it's in focus and you take a picture very quick look at this details excellent amount of details look at this Sony has vastly improved this camera I'm impressed battery life let's check out the battery life this was on I took it off the charger around 12 in the afternoon and right now it's 11.30 in the at night and the screen on time I'm getting is 2 hours and 38 minutes with 40 almost 39 percent still left so battery life is also pretty good I'm expecting it to be around um, 3 hours 45 minutes of uh, screen on time that's by taking a lot of pictures and using 4G for at least like 3 hours so all in all I'm really impressed after a days of use so I'll um, put some more camera samples in a later video some more 4k videos uh, and 1080p videos for comparison sake let me know how you guys found the image quality